Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here from Easy Blade. Today we're back with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about how to brand your barbershop and why you should be branding your barbershop if you wanna start making more money. Let's get into it. Okay guys, in a world with so much noise, you have to be able to stand out. And branding is one of those things that you have to do to get to the next level. So we're from New York, there's barbershops on every corner. Now people can go anywhere they want. They can pick any barbershop they want. Why would they pick your barbershop? Branding is gonna take you to that level where you're gonna stand out. Now what's involved in branding? Branding would be the look, the feel, the environment, the dress code, the attitude. All these things take place when you're branding your barbershop. You don't just paint things a nice color, you know, put a logo on the wall and that's it. A logo is very important for a brand as well, but the logo is not really gonna just be the branding part. Branding is a whole bunch of things all in one. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is figure out who your target audience is. Now, depending on your target audience is the way you're gonna end up branding your shop. Now, it could be a hip hop barbershop, it can be a rock and roll barbershop, it can be a classic barbershop, it can be any type of environment that you want. That's the beauty of the industry. You can be who you wanna be, design your shop the way you want it to be, but everything has to coincide with each other. The people that you hire have to be a part of whatever culture that you're bringing, whatever brand that you're bringing, because branding is a culture. It is a whole thing. It's everything all together. So the attitude that your, your employees have to have have to fit within that barbershop. You can't have a classic barbershop with somebody acting hip hop. You can't have a rock and roll barbershop with somebody acting classic. So everything has to feel, the look and the vibe. When you walk into a tattoo place, you know, usually the guys have the tattoos. There's a certain vibe that you get when you go in there and you feel like you're going to get a tattoo. You don't feel like, you know, you're going to get a haircut, if that makes sense. Whatever you're doing, it has to fit and it has to have the same vibe. Um, dress code is very important. You wanna dress the part of your brand. These are just examples, guys, but if you have a classic barbershop, usually in classic barbershops, People use the button downs with the vests and the bow ties. So when a customer comes in, they walk in and they feel that. Based on the people that you're targeting is based on the type of income that you're gonna create. So if you're going for a high end, you might make more money. If you're going for a classic, you know, you might make more money. It's just all about the vibe and you're bringing to be able to set your prices. Now branding is gonna have to do with a lot with the prices because when you brand yourself, people are gonna take you way more serious. People are gonna feel it. You're gonna have a certain way that people look at you when they walk in, okay? Not saying everybody has to wear button downs, but everybody should be uniform and look exactly the same way. These are the type of people you're gonna attract. So if the, if the dress code is classic, everybody should look classic, guys. You can't have one man throwing it off or one person with a different attitude than everybody else because this is gonna destroy the barbershop. Now, what are ways you can really, really stand out? So the first thing you're gonna have to do is build a website, guys. Now your website should look and feel the way your barbershop and your brand is going to feel. Now there should be a logo everywhere on that website and there should also be logos inside of the barbershop or in front of the barbershop to really give people the feel. Now one of the biggest things about branding is customer service, guys. What type of customer service is your brand gonna bring? Now, if you have a shop that's just a regular shop and they don't really care when people walk in, they don't greet the customer, they don't treat people with good service, then that's the type of tips and environment the customers are gonna come in. They're gonna go there and be like, oh, I'm just going to get a haircut. They're not gonna take the shop serious. They might give you $2. They might not believe in you. So but when you come with professionalism and you really, really bring that brand and that environment to the next level, People will tip you guys. People will, people will give you what you're worth. If you have to take yourself serious and show people exactly what you're worth. And it's not too late if you already own a barbershop, it's not too late. You can rebrand a barbershop and start to take yourself to the next level. You can just switch everything up. It's okay if you have old customers that are not used to it. You will lose a lot of old customers uh, when you start to rebrand yourself, but guess what? If you know how to cut hair, there's gonna be room for new customers. So the people who are not gonna take your new brand serious, then they have to leave. Uh, the new people that come in, they don't know you from anywhere, so they're gonna basically 
go ahead and take you as serious as, as you present yourself to be. Again, Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Hope this video helped you guys out a lot. I will talk to you soon. See you on the next one.